In this video, I will work on an example and explain the sensitivity analysis method. I will describe how we can use this method for project evaluation. Let's work on a simple example. In this example, we will run single variable sensitivity analysis. We also assume all the input variables are independent and have no effect on each other. For instance, we assume the magnitude of initial investment has no effect on operating costs. This investing project requires uh, $150,000 of investment at the present time and it yields uh, the annual income of $40,000 for five years from year uh, one to year five and the salvage value of $80,000 in the end of the year five. And we want to evaluate the sensitivity of the project rate of return to 20% and 40% change, increase and decrease in initial investment, annual income, project life, and salvage. First, we calculate the rate of return on this cash flow for this project. The present value of costs equals present value of income plus uh, present value of salvage. And uh, we will find, uh, we will solve this equation for i using the IRR function in Excel or any other spreadsheet. And we calculate the rate of return on this cash flow as 20.5%. First, sensitivity analysis of initial investment. So in the first step, we want to see what would be the rate of return for this project if we decrease the initial investment by 40%. Means we have to multiply this $150,000 by one minus 40%. So it is going to be $90,000. So if the initial investment of the project decreases by 40%, then we will have the initial investment of $90,000 at present time. And we calculate the rate of return for this uh, new situation. Uh, present value of cost equals present value of income plus uh, present value of salvage. And we calculate the rate of return as 43.5%. Now effect of 20% decreased in the initial investment. So the initial investment, if it is decreased by 20%, is going to be one minus 20% multiply $150,000. And we calculate the rate of return for the new situation for the case that we have 20% uh, less initial investment. And the rate of return is going to be 29.6%. The third case is when we calculate the rate of return for a 20% increase in initial investment. So initial investment is going to be one plus 20% multiply $150,000, which is going to be $180,000 of investment. And the rate of return can be calculated as present value of costs equals present value of income plus present value of salvage. And the rate of return will be 13.8% if the initial investment is increased by 20%. And the fourth case is when our initial investment is increased by 40%, which is going to be one plus 40% multiply $150,000, which comes to $210,000. And the rate of return is calculated as 8.6% if the initial investment is increased by 40%. And this table summarizes the result for sensitivity analysis on initial investment. So uh, this, uh, the third row is the base case when uh, there is no change in our initial investment. Uh, the rate of return, as we calculated, was 20.5%. If the initial investment is decreased by 40%, then the rate of return for this project is going to be 43.5%, which will be 112.7% higher than the base case that we had. Initial investment is decreased by 20%, then the rate of return is going to be 29.6, which is 
which comparing to the base case, they need, the rate of return is going to be 44.8% higher than the base case. If the initial investment is increased by 20%, then rate of return is going to be 13.8, which is going to be around 33% lower than the base case. And the last case, if the initial investment is increased by 40%, then uh, the rate of return for the project is going to drop to 8.6%, which is 58% uh, lower than the base case that we had. Now let's do the sensitivity analysis for the project lifetime. Uh, the project lifetime is uh, initially five years, so the 40% decrease in project lifetime is going to be 1 minus 40 multiply 5, which is going to be three years. So a project with initial investment of, we hold every other thing constant. So the project with uh, initial investment of $150,000 and the annual income of $40,000 for three years and the salvage value of $80,000. We calculate the rate of return, which is going to be 12.9%. And then effect of 20% uh, decreased in project lifetime. So if the project lifetime is decreased by 20%, uh, we are going to have four years. One minus 20% multiplied by uh, five, which comes to four. And uh, uh, calculation of rate of return for the new cash flow. Uh, f we are going to have four years of income of $40,000 and rate of return is going to be 17.7% of 20% increase in project life which is going to be 1 plus 20% multiply 5 which is going to be 6 year 1 year increase in project lifetime in, in this case we are going to have rate of return of 22.2% and if the project lifetime is increased by 40%, uh, meaning that we add two more years to the lifetime of the project, one plus uh, 0.4 multiply five equals to seven. We have two more years of project lifetime. And the rate of return can be calculated as 23.4. And we summarize the sensitivity analysis of project life result in this table. So the third row is the base case. Uh, project life is initially five years and the rate of return is 20.5 percent. If the project life is decreased by 40 percent, we are going to have three years of uh, project life and the rate of return is going to be 12.9%. If the project life is decreased by 20%, then the rate of return is going to be 17.7%, which is 13.5% uh, less than the base case. If the project life is increased by 20%, then we can see it is going to have positive uh, impact on the rate of return, which is 8.7% higher than the base case, higher than 20.5%. And if the project lifetime is increased by 40%, uh, the project life is going to be seven years and the rate of return is going to be 23.4, which is 14.5% higher than the base case which was 20.5%. And now sensitivity analysis for annual income. The initial uh, value for annual income was $40,000. 40 40% 40 uh, decrease means uh, one minus 40% multiply $40,000 and we are going to have the annual income of $24,000. We calculate the rate of return for such projects so every other thing is the same. We just change the, uh, we just decrease the annual income by 40%. So the rate of return is going to be eight. 
the effect of 20% decrease in annual income uh, will be uh, 1 minus 20% uh, multiply $40,000, which is going to be $32,000. Uh, we are going to have $32,000 if the annual income is decreased by 20% and the rate of return uh, for such project is going to be 14.3%. We repeat these calculations for 20% increase in annual income. Uh, if in annual income uh, from the base case is increased by 20%, we are going to have 1 plus 20% multiply $40,000, which gives uh, $48,000 of annual income per year for five years. And the rate of return is going to be 26%. We repeat the calculations for 40% increase in annual income, uh, which is going to be 1 plus 40% multiply $40,000, which comes to uh, $56,000 annual income. So if our uh, annual income is increased by 40% from the base case, we are going to have $46,000 per year. And the rate of return in this new case will be 32.4%. So again, this table summarizes the sensitivity analysis of annual income. Uh, the base case is when we have $40,000 of income per year. The rate of return is going to be 20.5%. If the annual income is decreased by 40%, we are going to have $24,000 per year, and the rate of return is going to be 8.1%, which is going to be 60.6% lower than the base case, lower than the base case of 20.5%. If the annual income is decreased by 20%, we are going to have $32,000 per year, and the rate of return is going to be 14.3%, which is almost 30% less than the base case. If annual income is increased by 20%, we are going to have $48,000 per year, and the rate of return is going to be increased to 26.5%, which is 29.5% higher than the base case. And in the end, and if annual income is increased by 40%, we will have the annual income of uh, $56,000, and rate of return is going to be 32.4%, which is 58.5% higher than the base case. And the last part, we run the sensitivity analysis for the salvage value. The initial value for salvage is $80,000. 40% decrease in salvage value can be calculated as 1 minus 40% multiply $80,000, which comes to $48,000. And the rate of return for this change, $48,000 of salvage, which is here, and the rate of return is going to be 17%. We repeat the calculations for 20% decrease in salvage. 1 minus 20% multiply $80,000, which is going to be $64,000 of salvage, and the rate of return 18.8%. We will calculate this for 20% increase in salvage. 1 plus 20% multiply $80,000 equals $96,000 and the rate of return can be, ca can be calculated as 22% uh, and the last one 40% increase in salvage value which will be 1 plus 40% multiply $80,000 equals $112,000 of salvage value and rate of return will be 23.5. This table summarizes the sensitivity analysis of salvage value. The third row is the base case. 
uh, there is no change in any input variable and the rate of return is 20.5%. The first row is the case that we have 40% decrease in salvage value. In this case, the rate of return is going to be 17% which is 17% lower than the base case, which was 20.5%. If the salvage value is decreased by 20%, then rate of return is going to be 18.8%, which is 8.2% lower than the base case. If the salvage value is increased by 20%, the rate of return is going to be 22%, which is 7% higher than the base case. Last row, which shows the 40% increase in salvage, and the rate of return in this case is going to be 23.5%, which is almost 15% higher than the base case of 20.5%. This table summarizes the sensitivity analysis result for these uh, four input variables. So the second row is the base case where nothing is changed. So a rate of return is 20.5%. The first row shows if uh, the input is decreased by 40%. So if the initial investment is decreased by 40%, then rate of return is going to be 43.5%. If the project lifetime is uh, decreased by 40%, we can see it has a negative eff effect on the rate of return. The, the rate of return is going to decrease uh, to 12.9% and so on. The last row shows the result if uh, the input variable is uh, increased by 40%. So if the initial investment is increased by 40%, rate of return is going to be 8.6%. If the project life is increased by 40%, uh, rate of return is going to be 23.4 and so on. We can also summarize these results in uh, a graph called tornado graph. And uh, we can see here this vertical line shows the base case where nothing is changed. The rate of return is 20.5%. Uh, this uh, bar shows uh, what would be the change in the rate of return of the project if initial investment changes from 40% uh, positive to 40% negative, 40% increase to 40% decrease. Uh, 